Hey everybody, uh, this is Antonio, Westland Gardener, uh, here in Oregon. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Oops. Here in uh, Westland, Oregon, Zone 8B. Um, so, I was out here earlier today uh, picking some figs and enjoying some figs off this Desert King uh, fig tree. Just let me back up and show it to you. So there it is. It's a pretty big tree. Uh, but it did dawn on me that, that uh, probably uh, it's probably good to do a video to show you what it's like or what it looks like when the fig is ripe. Uh, so I'll demonstrate here on this fig. Uh, so this, once again, this is a Desert King. Uh, it's known for having a good breba crop here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Now, if you're wondering what that is there, that's a uh, air layer bag where what you do is you just wrap that up, uh, wrap a bag of soil. In this case, it was peat moss, I think. And then you uh, scrape off some bark off the tree. You attach it to the tree. And in turn, in a few weeks, you will get roots. And then from there, you're able to cut that down and propagate it. Now, uh, once this tree is done fruiting, I will cut that branch down there and stick it in a pot. And I will have a clone of this tree. So anyway, back to the figs. Um, today is July 22nd. Uh, it is Saturday, so I will pull down one of these branches and show you what a fig looks like when it's ready or when it's ripe. Um, I think that one there might be tricky. All right, so this is my handy dandy tool here. Um, what it is, it's one of those gutter cleaning tools. Uh, and I, I like the hook on it. it. You know, it allows you to pull down the... Uh, the branch is fairly easy. You just hook it around the branch like this. And then pull down the branch. Now, I'll, I'll be printing all those back uh, this fall and making some leaf cuttings or possibly some air layers. Uh, but yeah, let me show you what it looks like here when something's ripe. Uh, here's a good example here, I think. Now, uh, on this fig here, the figs will be green, uh, and the way to tell that they're ripe is that the neck, if you look here on this fig, you see it's kind of upright, kind of straight, so when they're ripe, they'll become soft, they'll be larger, of course they'll swell, they'll be larger, uh, they'll be soft, and then the neck part there, that neck part there uh, actually droops down to where the fig is. It's in a way it's facing you in a way like it's like pointed downward. Uh, so here's an example of one that's either ripe or pretty close to being ripe. That there. So I'm likely going to need a ladder for that one. So maybe I'll skip that one. Uh, but here's actually a pretty good example. Okay. So, you see the difference in the color there in those sticks? This one here, compared to that one. Kind of even compared to that one. So you'll see by holding this branch up straight, the figs that are not ripe are pointed straight upward. The fig that is becoming ripe, this one here, and it started to droop. You know, this fig is soft. You see how there's a little bit of give. I'm not, I'm not really pressing on it hard. I'm just barely touching it, squeezing it. So it is soft. Um, the eye, in, in most cases, the eye will open up to there. That brown part there is the eye. Uh, so I'm, I'm choosing to give this fig another day or two. And then I'll cut it down and enjoy it. Um, oh, here's one. Okay. So this one here looks like it's ready. 
You see the difference in the color there? Alright, so I'm going to cut that one down. And what I did is I just twisted it. I just did a light twist. You see the skin's peeling there. Okay, now it's got a little bit of latex. That white stuff there, it's the latex. Uh, some people um, are kind of allergic to that, so it kind of irritates their skin or their skin. So that one uh, looks like it's pretty bright. Maybe could have used about a day, another day. But for the sake of shooting this video, we have sacrificed it for that reason. Now let me go over here. I'm going to cut it open. See what it looks like on the inside. All right. So here it is. All right. So I'm going to set it down here on the cutting board. I'm going to put this phone down. Okay, so I just cut it open. Now, as you can see here, it's me focus. It's gooey, it's soft. Yeah, it's pretty ripe. Like I said, could have used another maybe day, maybe two. I think maybe one day, maybe probably in the morning would have been optimum or it would have been like really gooey gooey it's still pretty good though i can still enjoy it so that'll be pretty tasty um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat that really quick hmm. yum so it's sweet um yeah, it's kind of honeyish, honey tasting. Mm. Some people taste berries, some people taste strawberries. I can't really make out all those tastes. All I can tell is that it's uh, sweet and tasty, kind of honey, honey flavorish. So yeah, that's how you can tell when the fig's ready. Now today is July 22nd. Uh, so once these figs start getting ready, uh, they'll all start getting ready one after another so probably tomorrow I'll come out and likely enjoy me some figs oh it looks like I'll be enjoying some blackberries too it looks like there's a lot of blackberries that are also ready got I've got blackberries growing in between the or up the trunk of that big tree so those are, those are going to be ready also tomorrow I'm giving the tree a, a nice heavy soak. That way the, uh, the figs that are ripening up can get nice and plump. So yeah, uh, that's going to be my fig update. Today is July 22nd here in West Lynn, Oregon. All right. Okay, thanks for watching.